happy peak week, guys. We are seven, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days out till show day. Um, how did I ring in the first day of my peak week? Let me tell you. I woke up at 5 a.m. Why? Because I got dreams. Went and did fasted cardio for 60 minutes, came home, ate breakfast, then went and did the O course with my friends, which is like a boot camp type obstacle course, which took me, excuse me, around 50 minutes to complete, and it was intense. Guys, do peak week, like, blah, 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 blah. Guys, do peak week like me. Don't hold it back just because it's the last week of your prep. People say, oh, peak week, like, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. I don't care that I'm tired because I've still got work to do. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, came home, I have two athletes competing the same weekend as me, so I've been working on their peak weeks, um, drinking water, eating food, and I still have another cardio session to do later. And you know what? I'm gonna get it done, no excuses. We got this, guys. We got this fam uh, sporting T-Rex hat. Um, this is what I wore because it was for veterans and the whole thing was that we needed to wear red. So I wore this red shirt and that's what's happening. I am still super duper carb depleted and looking full. Um, I was supposed to get carbs maybe today, but then Sean said, no, no carbs. You still look full. So we continue. It's beautiful deplete. I keep dreaming of carbs. Even though I don't like them, I want them because they give me energy. But you know what? It's fine. I can do it. Get this, get this, get this. Positive vibes. Positive vibes. Positive vibes. When we out. When we out. When we out. I'm weird. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, so it's a few hours later, and I just wrapped up my peak weeks and some emails. I still have three programs to do for clients, but I'm going to take a break, and I'm going to eat and then I'm going to take a Donis for a walk. So I'll catch you guys probably on a Donis's walk since I suck at filming my food. So, he heard the word. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh, so this morning I woke up really early, like five or something. Donis stopped pulling. And um, I was walking Donis around the complex, which I always do. And at first I just saw this like dog and I was like, oh, a stray dog. But this thing was majestic as fuck, and it was huge. And then I looked at the colors, because I'm... Donna, stop pulling. From New Brunswick, so I am very familiar with coyotes. And the damn thing was a coyote. So it ran all the way down there, turned up here, and I was like, oh my god. Adonis obviously is like the friendliest dog in the world. I was like, I want to play with that dog. But I'm like, oh my god, that dog will eat you. It's not a dog. So, like, that was a full-blown coyote. So after I brought Adonis inside, I was like, the car was parked like on the side street. I was like scared as shit to go out, but I obviously went out because I had to go do cardio, but like, what? Even, I live in a city and there's this like crazy coyote running down the street, like majestic as fuck. <laughs> anyway, that's what happened. None of the carbs. None of the carbs till way later in the week. I see all these people right now on Instagram and they're like carb loading today. I'm like, see you next week, carbs. See you next week. And I drop, drop a truth bomb on you guys. Love my dog. Right, Adonis? Love him. But, the one thing I hate about having a fucking dog is this. Fucking dog shit. Like, who actually wants to pick up shit? Let's be real. Who? Who does? It's 
a good. Do you need help? No, you don't. Do another client update and then 